This is a smoke shop in my hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada. You might not know this. There was a Vietnamese gentleman who owns the smoke shop and he was getting robbed once again because BLM and Antifa said, all cops are B words, defund the police. We can handle it ourselves. leave us alone. And we don't want any prison sentences and let everybody out quickly because they don't belong in prison, the industrial complex of prison. Well, this is what happens. And now shop owners, immigrants like my family and many of yours, white people, black people, Asian store owners, Latinos are starting to take out the trash. And I've been criticized because I keep showing all the black dudes jumping behind the counter and getting punched, kicked and drug out of there. So here is for you people to show that I don't care what color the person is, you jump behind the counter, I hope whatever color the store owner is takes out the trash. Watch this. Two thieves inside this smoke shop, one outside holding the door and the shop's owner just about to jump into action. Can you guys just leave? Nah. Jacob. Come here. Can I just get the... All right, take the money in it. I keep the coins. I need the coins. Bro, okay. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, it is tough to watch. Police tell us this happened on Wednesday, and they arrested two juveniles in this case. And one, as you can see there, was taken to the hospital after being injured. Smokestrom is the pride and joy for owner Johnny Newen. The store is my life. I worked, I worked hard to get everything I have. And he says he wasn't about to let these two thieves take anything away. They walked in on Wednesday afternoon as Newen was working at his smoke shop. At first, I thought they were just normal customers. Uh, then I realized they had, um, like, Ski masks on. You hear him asking why they're wearing the masks. Why are you guys wearing masks like that? You will notice around this moment, Nguyen is reaching for something near the register. I had to assume they had a firearm, so I just wanted to make sure that I could protect myself. Did you see it? Uh, no, I did not see it, but I couldn't take that chance. One person tries running off with the tip jar. Another jumps over the counter. This is when the owner attacks. Newman says he believes he stabbed the robber seven times, and the video backs that up. I didn't think he planned on getting stabbed that day, obviously, but if you try robbing a store, you're taking that risk. Right? Like, this is... This is a small business, obviously. After the stabbing, Newen dragged the boy out of the store and called for police and paramedics. Don't let me die, sir. Uh, calling emergency services. I'm sorry, this wasn't my idea. Uh, Don't let me die. For business owners, a situation like this is always a worry. So we talked to security expert Jonathan Alvarez on what he thought of the situation. Uh, I wholeheartedly uh, agree with defending yourself and having that ability to defend yourself and your family and others. Um, but if it's just items that are replaceable, at the end of the day, it's just, just let them take what they, what they need to take. Now, if you find yourself in a robbery, the Department of Public Safety says you should stay calm and do not resist. Follow the robber's directions, but don't offer more than what they're asking for. Make mental notes of the robber's appearance. Then after it's over, go to a safe location and call police. So if all you do is listen to the news, you too can be a victim forever. If the criminals know that every single shop owner is just going to do what they say, don't fight back, hand over the goods, go to a quiet place, handcuff yourself to the toilet, and wait for help to arrive, then this is never going to end. That shop owner was amazing. Let's give him a hand. You look at the reactions from my fellow patriots here. Good job from Juliet. Now, Juliet is not a white person, and that shop owner was not a white person. So this whole idea that, oh, white people just cheer for white people. No, 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 no. Moderates and conservatives do not care about the color at all. We are happy to see anyone fighting back and defending their business. So that's three weeks in a row. Now, the last two were black. These two were white. But I've been called a racist by the radical left. And I'm here to tell you, conservatives always side with the hardworking Americans regardless of color. We don't care that the shop owner is Asian. We don't care if the attacker is white, black, Persian, or other. If I saw a Persian getting stabbed and shoved out from robbing a place, I wouldn't be like, hey, why are you showing us doing that? That could have been me. But Barack Obama goes, that could have been my son. And when I look at him, 
that ah, could have been my son. We moderates and conservatives, we never defend the criminals. We always root for the good guy, the Democrats. They don't get that. So now you know the difference between moderates and conservatives versus radical left Democrats that want more crime. Which side are you on? Figure it out in the comments. When we come back, there's gonna be a whole lot more of The Right Show.